Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload a file along with your model in .NET Core Web API. So if you've seen, this is the uh, the website that I have it on my GitHub repository. This is a product web website. So, so far what you have seen in that website is basically you can click here and choose a file and then you can upload here. But I'm going to show you how I can fix this file upload as part of the update call itself and send more information like you know price category all these things all these things you see this along with the file how we can send it to the server and how we can save it in one call all together that's what you're gonna see come let's dive in okay so this is the api that we have and if you have seen this we already have a upload uh, endpoint where it accepts the iform file as an input meaning a file one file or more than one file you can send it so that is an input along with the id of a product okay but now instead of that what we are going to do is we are going to create a model like basically the model has a bunch of properties along with that you add another property called iform file so now iform file is a part of a model class not just a parameter okay so i have this as the final model and in this model, we have this image of type iform file and then a couple of uh, other properties. If you look at this from where these properties are coming. So we have ID, name, description, price, availability, all these things. Along with this, we have all these properties, right? So let's go and see. Now, what you have to do is you just use this model and instead of body, you put the attribute as from form. Remember, this is not from body. It's from form. Okay. Once you have these two changes alone done, then your model will then have all the information along with the file. And that is what we are going to see now. You look at this, I am running that uh, application and this is the endpoint. And if I say try it out, okay, so it expanded. This is the ID which is coming from the route. The route is the route, okay, so ID is the route. And then the model, like I said, the model has image which is of iform file. So there's an image here and bunch of properties. So let's try that out. I'm going to fill up all this information. And then uh, there was an image which has also been choosed. Like let's say I choose an image and I'm going to execute. So the moment I hit this, everything is there. I'm going to just run this, all these validations. Okay, now all the properties has been validated. It has come to the controller. And if I just hover on this, you can see the information that we typed, all this information came along with an image image also came here okay so now once you receive this it's all same so I'm gonna execute this you see this it's gonna converting that steam saving the file and literally creating the product product is created I mean the product image is created I'm gonna just run it okay so I have run this product and I'm gonna come here and just refresh this you can see lively it will get updated because literally I use the same API. So let's see, you see this, the one that we uploaded from the Swagger has come here, which means this image was uploaded. Now, the only thing that, which is not in this video is, how did you do this from the client perspective, okay? And I will show you how to integrate that from the client perspective and we are gonna choose client as Angular and uh, we will take a look at that in the next video. So coding wise, it's all simple. I'm going to give you the uh, code file in the description box and you can go take a look. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.